So, I was a really strange kid when I was younger. <laughs> like, literally got nosebleeds every day. I took swords and guns to school to play with at playground and all this nonsense. And I always felt really bad for the teachers that had me from like first to probably fifth grade because I had this one outfit that I would wear every day. And it literally consisted of a red cooling mustache, hairy <laughs> winkle shorts, a leather top t shirt, and then pink Power Ranger street lights. Oh. Yeah. Here's the picture though. I'd walk into class the first day with a pet rock that I would, I always just collected rocks on my way into school. And I would draw faces on them and have at least two conversations with them by the time I got to class. <laughs> so by the time I was there, I'd already, you know, correlated a strong um, relationship with them. <laughs> and so I'm in the middle of class, I got walked and I'm just like, Rocky Balboa, if you pee on my phonics test again, I'm gonna throw you out the window. And you know that teacher had to be so pissed as soon as she heard me talking about wanting to throw a rock out of her window. <laughs> Can you imagine going up to a child and being like, Chucky, listen, I just, I don't think it's a good idea that you're going to want to throw a rock out a window in the middle of a test that's going to come up with an issue. But I, but I can't leave Rocky Balboa at home because if I do, he's going to pee all over my room and it's going to be a problem when I get home. Like, this was an everyday occurrence, you guys. <laughs> And I realized the things that I did have affected me now as a grown-up. Like, I don't sleep well at all. And I don't know if you guys remember how rough nap time was, but it was literally 20 children lined up execution style before, wrapped so tightly that they couldn't even move. I was the one kid that was so stressed out by the entire situation that I'm just like shaking. I'm just shaking. As the teacher walks by, she always had a whistle in her mouth too. I was just walking by with a whistle in her mouth, <laughs> waiting for one child to move, who was always me. Because I was too scared that I was going to fall asleep and then fart and then wake myself up. And the teacher's just standing over me, her lady bits in my face and just blowing a whistle as loud as she can. And because of that, I can't sleep anymore. I can't sleep. And I realized the only thing that could have made my childhood any better was to have Bjork there every step of the way. <laughs> now when I say that, I don't mean first grade Bjork. I mean 30 year old Bjork experimenting, trying to find new ideas for her album. <laughs> so take the, take the rock situation for instance. This is Bjork coming up to me while I'm playing with my rock. <laughs> I'm Bjork and I like the way you pet rock. It is very nice, it's like you're in touch with nature and I would like to parade in nature with you and we can bask in each other's blood and it would be beautiful. Bjork, I don't know, my mom's a nurse and I just don't, I don't think that's a good idea. Now, here's why it would be so great to have Bjork with me every step of the way. I was a weird kid. I got made fun of for everything, literally everything. But the only thing that could have made that better was to have somebody weirder than you. Because then you only get made fun of for being friends with someone that's stranger than you. So this is this is Bjork in math class. Because I used to get made fun of all the time in math, because I was good at it. Bjork, what is four plus four? I don't believe in numbers or calculations. Instead, I stare into the sun. And when I do, I just, I stare into the sun for a minute, and then I'll open, and I will close my eyes. And when I do, I count the rings I see. <laughs> Bjork's weird, you guys. Clearly. Here's the thing. After that, we're best friends, so I would take her home, we'd have a sleepover, and she, you know how you always have those weird questions you ask at sleepovers when you're like lying in bed with each other? You're always talking about afterlife and weird stuff, so I asked Bjork, Bjork, what do you think the afterlife is? And Bjork goes, the afterlife would be like when I die, I'm going to become your fingernail and I will grow and grow and grow and we will become one with each other. You guys have a good night.